What is up, everybody? I just want to remind you to go green because we're not trying to be the real swole shady here. Um, <laughs> I bleached my hair last night. Um, head tattoo is holding up okay. Um, and then we are going to go ahead and dye it green. So what I have for you here, I buy the blue Manic Panic voodoo blue and i mix it with the electric lizard this one will actually glow in the dark if you go to a club not that i really do but i take and i mix them in here and then we kind of have a whole you know there's an old old electric lizard but it's got some blue in there and it's going to make a nice green color so you know i think back in uh what was that like kindergarten you, you mix your colors together. Well, we're doing that now in my hair, almost 30 years later. <laughs> and we're gonna go to a food festival in Orlando, but first we're gonna train and, oh, we have a visitor. Hello. Hi. <laughs> this is Allie. <laughs> uh, we need a glove for you. Mm. She's my handler for the day. Not only gonna be doing my hair, but also driving me, feeding me, filming me. Basically, full-time nanny, right? Yep. <laughs> You're my child today. <laughs> I feel like a child. She hasn't done it before. So, we're gonna show you how to do it. So, you just stick your finger in there with a glove. Otherwise, your fingers will turn green. I always forget to put on a glove when I wipe it out of my hair and then my hair Turns my hands green. So it kind of looks like the Hulk. And then you just put it in. Yeah. Okay, so we're not using a brush, we're using our fingers. Yeah. Like so. And then you just sit and it works for a while. Then you gotta do it again. This is the price of beauty, guys. About $13 on Amazon to get some hair coloring. <laughs> I guess this is kind of like behind the scenes. Most people do not see this. What it takes to be the bodybuilding vegan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Allie was saying she feels like she's back in a mother role. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Good child. <laughs> What's up guys, Bodybuilding Vegan. I want to show you guys how to make cream of rice, true nutrition style, sweet, not savory. This is my favorite pre-workout meal. She's like, what are you going to put in the video? I don't know guys. Sometimes I just make up shit on the fly. So we stopped at Wawa. I got a banana. I'm going to eat that awkwardly because there's really no way to not awkwardly eat a banana. Um, so I got a banana. I love these prime drinks because they actually have a very solid, um, what is the word, electrolyte profile, um, 700 milligrams of potassium, 124 grams of magnesium, I don't got any sodium, I'm going to have to add some salt to this somehow, um, if you haven't watched the like Jake Paul documentary on Netflix, I went into it kind of blind, I... I didn't know anything about them. They're like supposedly some of the biggest YouTubers in the world. You should probably know this, but then he became a professional boxer. He's actually good. It's pretty inspiring, actually. I also picked this up, and I am super excited to try these. These kind of slid under my radar. I don't know if they're new or not, but this is the first time I've seen it. It does say plant-based, so it is one of the Linian Larrys that are safe. Not all of them are plant-based. 24 grams of protein and like 320 calories, so it's... Pretty high in protein for a protein bar, but actually a little bit high in calories too. But we are going to the Vegan Food and Health Expo. No. Vegan Health and Food Event. Man, I should know this. I'm like already on the way there and I don't even. It's in Apopka, the Vegan Food and Health Festival. Um, so we're going to go there, sample some food, meet up with my boy Jeremy. Uh, he runs the event, but before that, we were stopping at Iron Religion Gym to get a little pump on as I elbow her in the face. Ooh, ooh, got some arms there. Yeah, we were going to hit arms, back and arms, so 
that'll be fun. Um, really, I just wanted to eat a banana on camera for you guys because I thought you might appreciate it. Um, my OnlyFans might still be around. It's not really. Don't don't waste your money there. Buy my cookbook or just cash at me if, if, if you want. Um, all right, I'm just screwing around, guys. But donate your money to charity. That's what you should do. Um, anyways, I'm going to put the rest of this banana down, get my pre-workout. I'll see you all in the gym. Well, in classic bodybuilding vegan fashion, we have arrived. We were planning to be here at 12. It's, it's, it's classic timing for me, 12.42. Um, Iron Religion Gym out here in Orlando. This is the spot to be. If you guys are in Orlando, this is the gym you want to check out. Uh, I'll try and get you some footage while I'm in there. And uh, yeah, we're going to go kill this back day. So see you all soon. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Yeah, I might be a little bit crazy, but yeah, I got a head tattoo. A little bit crazy, you know, if the shoe fits, if the, hmm, what's another euphemism? If you got big feet, got big socks? I guess so. Guess so. All right. Unless There's, you're going barefoot. Unless you're going barefoot, because sometimes we like to just raw dog it. The restaurant. First things first. Yeah, definitely. Now this is what I call some gym lighting. Look at that. I just want you to look at yourself. I have to pee. All right, so we are in here. I'm gonna start with some cable pullovers. Just like a little, little warm up. In my last video with Royce, we have a really good explanation of these, so you can check that out, the Royce at MI40 video. I'm just gonna do like two or three here. Pretty quick warm up. Kind of in a rush. So, I'm gonna try and knock these out. You wanna go? Do you want me to just want me to just do my own thing since you're in a rush and you wanna record some stuff? Okay, you can go. Thank you for being fluid. Um, but yeah, we can do this together. It's fine. Have you done this before? I think we did them before. Yeah. I think you maybe, maybe we feel it better with a closer group, like here, maybe. I do. I think I do feel it better, like that. Feeling good? All right, so we're gonna do this. Prime row, and we're gonna load it since the prime move, prime machines allow you to load them differently. We're gonna load the end of the movement so where her hands are extended. We're gonna make that a little bit harder. How'd that feel? It was harder when it was extended. <laughs> it was easier when I pulled it back. Yeah. Do you want to stay there for you? Or do you think it'll go up? Maybe a little bit? Yeah, a little bit, but not. So I'm gonna give you a little bit. I'm gonna put it in the middle. So it'll make the whole movement a little bit harder. It's interesting they have these 
bumper style plates. This will be like my first set. We'll probably do like four. Got it loaded up more on the top, which makes it a little bit harder when the weight is extended versus when you have the weight in close to you. And we do this because we're all a lot stronger out here than we are here. So if I can load more here and load the same here, I get more total work done. Using some straps because my grip strength is not incredible. And I don't really care because I'm a bodybuilder, not a power lifter. I'm allowed to use straps. We just finished doing more of like a, a mid upper back movement. So now I'd like to do something a little bit more lower back. Um, not lower back, lower lat, I should say. Do you see how low her elbows are? She's pulling down and low. So that's gonna hit like lower back in here. I keep saying lower back, lower lat. Not lower back, but lower lat. Um, so that's what I typically would start the day with. So go ahead and swap over to these. So I'm actually gonna do these single arm. And remember, whichever side you're working on, turn in towards that side. very strong contraction like going into labor having contractions um, maybe not quite but holy shit better angle for you guys here I just don't want to hit my knee this one. I wish I had this at home. Best gym partner ever. Can't around my bag. All right, so we've done kind of some upper back work. 
some lower lat work. Now I want to do a pull down variation of some sort. This one has caught my eye. So I'm going to try this out. See how it feels. If it feels good, we'll do this. If not, we'll do something else. That's kind of how it works. Branding. I like how it feels. You want to try it? I don't know, maybe like 40 pounds? Let's see how it feels. Oh, man. I like that. Look at that back. You got wings. <laughs> Gonna fly. Going heavier. I felt a little light. Okay. Drive your elbows down maybe one or two more inches. Yeah. Look at those little lats sticking out. You got it back. Keep it in close. Keep the bar close, dude. There you go. Yeah, much better. I think we're ready to go up in weight. No doubt. I think you can go heavier. You made that look easy. How many did you do? 10. Oh, yeah. It's my we, second set of 10. We can go heavier. Oh, yeah. No doubt. This is where it's at. All right. So, since I'm traveling, I'm not at my gym. I don't know the weights as much. So, I'm picking a weight that should be comfortable. Five plates should be comfortable. And I'm just gonna go for a rep PR. I've never hit 15, so that would be the goal. Uh, the warm up with four felt heavy, so this is gonna be very interesting, but we shall give it our best shot. <sighs> Oh. 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 
Come on. I think that was 14 and a half. <laughs> Fuck. That set was hard. Allie's gonna go do her own thing. I couldn't catch my breath because I sound like a, I was gonna say a water buffalo. I don't know if that's accurate, but I am out of breath. That was hard. I think I've done 13 before, so that should be a lifetime PR. I don't know, I forget the numbers sometimes. It was good though for me. Um, weights feel a little heavier here. Maybe it's the bar. Maybe it's me. I don't know. Maybe it's Maybelline. I think that's the same. But I wanted to take this time while she's gone. Say, Allie, thank you, I love you. You guys don't see all the behind the scenes. I tried to like with the hair, but she really, really, really supports me. Encourages me to work on my breathing meditation, trying to reduce some of this anxiety and stress that I place upon myself. Nobody asks more of me than I do. Well, maybe my coach during prep. But outside of that, I, I put a lot of external stressors on myself and it's, it's not healthy and it's not right. And she's kind of like the voice of reason for me. She's also just incredibly sweet, kind hearted. So Allie, whenever you see this, I love you. I appreciate you. I feel like our journey is very interesting. We're both at our cores, very similar people. The way we love, the way we communicate, the way we live our lives. However, the exterior, clearly very different. Gender, very different. Um, and where our strengths lie, it's a little bit different. Obviously, I have my stuff in the gym. She has stuff, her stuff with yoga. My stuff with business is a little bit more numbers based. I feel like hers, is a little bit more intuition and healing based. So I don't know, I'm just ranting after a set to really buy myself as much time before I go try this again. Um, but yeah, there's a reason why she's here. She's helping me become a better version of myself. And I need to do that because I want to try my damn best to help save the world. And I can't do that alone. I need a teammate. I made a post this morning about Royce. He was a huge help while he was here. Now he's off doing his own thing. But I got Sean in the background. I got my coach, Justin. I got Johans, financial advisor. I got Brooke, business partner. Jason, my other business partner. And I got Ali, kind of everything partner. So, all right, I'm gonna hit one more set, knock out some quick buys and probably cut this off for y'all so that you don't have to watch too much in the gym. And go ahead and get to the vegan health and food festival in the pop cut. Get it, John. Work those biceps. Let me see it. Show me those legs.
literally we're walking out of the gym the guy goes is that tattoo real and i said yeah so we started talking and he was like well i'm not vegan but i think it's cool as fuck that you did that and i'm like oh thanks dude thanks for speaking up so we exchanged info david if you're watching this brother thank you for the kind words hope you're having the best day ever we're gonna go change and get some vegan food all right i'm sorry i just had to this is too cool <laughs> all right now for real the food how many outfits will i be in today that is the trivia question uh the answer the prize for winning is i, I can't even speak i'm hungry so we're gonna live taste test this allie's got one of my crave meals lucky her we have about a 30 minute drive and then we're gonna have real vegan food but all right let's let's pull it out thanks for looking right. out with the crave meal yeah you're very welcome i appreciate it I, I take care of those that take care of me. And it kind of looks like, it's cookies and cream, kind of looks like a big piece of dog poop. It smells like cookies and cream though. Chew that bite so that you can chew a bite of this. It was actually pretty good guys. I mean, I'm super hungry right now. But yeah, this slaps. I don't know if that's what people say nowadays, but holy shit. <clears throat> I was going to get the cookie. I think this is better, y'all. Y'all need to get one. Very chewy. Take a small bite. <clears throat> Lenny and Larry's. Let me get the macros on those. Oh no, I've done ripped right through them. <laughs> Alright, 320 calories. Total fat, 10 grams. I hope you were able to hear all that. God damn it. If not, Sean, just fast forward through this. Alright, total fat, 10 grams. You can tell by my face. 10 grams of fiber, 12 grams of sugar, 44 carbs, 24 grams of protein. 345 milligrams of potassium. There's like half of what I had in that uh, prime drink right here. So that's not bad. What, what do we think, Allie? It tastes good. It's a little chewy. Sweet. She she ain't as impressed as I am. The bar is low for me, guys. Um, <laughs> the bar. Get I've, it? Had, I've had better. It, that's what she said. <laughs> Jeremy Orlando, creator of vegan here. Uh, the creator of vegan events Orlando. We hold most all events, vegan events in Central Florida. Um, so we're here at the Vegan Food Festival in Popka. But we're here talking about the International Vegan Food Festival. April 27th, go, April Orlando, 27th. Florida. Be there. I'll be there. It's going to be like, what, 20? No, 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 no. no. It's going to be 60. 60. Okay. So we're going to have food from all across the globe. We're talking Ethiopian food, Asian food, Japanese food, Thai food. Puerto Rican food. I mean, I'm going to lose my breath just naming all of them. This is where y'all need to be. April 27th, come out. We're gonna have amazing it's gonna food. Be great, man. We have so many different options. And we have these contests as well. In the contests and competitions, it'll be like, hey, who can do the most push ups? Who can do a dance off? Who can eat the burger the fastest? So you I can do the burger. Burgers is a good one. <laughs> uh, the juice one is funny. Last one, we just talked about that. Last one, this guy had finished like three juices in like 10 seconds. No lie, it was like 10 seconds. It was crazy. Then he threw up behind the stage. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to talk about that. All right, we'll see y'all there. Maki, go. We got all kinds of sushi. Look at this. Come, come show them. We got, I've, I've never seen this much sushi from any type of vegan sushi vendor ever. They have so many options here. Um, check out that. I'm getting that. That is for me. I am so excited. Oh, oh. What is up, beautiful people? Clearly, I am a giant child. I don't know how to eat or drink without getting food or water all over myself, but that's okay. That's okay. We're done at the vegan food and health event and we're gonna be back on the 27th it's gonna be fun but 
we had to go somewhere today somewhere with big red balls i'm surprised their competitor doesn't have big blue balls but you know target they have big red balls i just got the news greta got her freaking pro card let's go vegan natural pro i believe she's 21 i'm about to call her right now Dude, oh my god, I'm at Target, but I'm so fucking proud of you. Sorry, sorry, it's been second, I can't even remember all of you trying to get a speaker. <laughs> okay. Dude, you did it. You fucking did it. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I'm so excited. I'm just like crying. I'm very thankful. I'm crying at Target as well, so we're on the same page. Um, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know what else to say. Other than I've, I've never had an athlete nail everything and do everything as well as you every single day. I know we only had about seven weeks, but you fucking killed it, dude. I'm so proud of you. I, I'm, I, I can't thank you enough. This is what, <laughs> this is why I like to coach. This is why I'm doing this. Yeah. And you you deserve this. I know how hard Thank you work. Um, oh man, dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know. So, like, uh, they had us do like a little like pose off the winner from the A to B. And they said it was like a one point difference. Um, but. But yeah, apparently, like, my, I think I only like, see judges feedback or anything, but my back and my hamstrings really, like, got it for me, so. Your back looked incredible. I feel like I made a few judgment calls when maybe we didn't come in as, as hard as we could have. Definitely want to work in glutes in the off season, but, oh, man, I, I'm so happy for you. I. Um, thank you, like, also, just like, thank you so much for, like, taking me on, like, so, like, late, and just, like, all the support has been amazing, I don't know, I just, like, love, like, this little community that, like, I've gotten into, and it's, yeah, I don't know, it's been amazing. Dude, you, you fucking did it, you put vegans on the stage, you put another vegan with a pro card, you did this, I mean, I, I told you what to do, but you did all of it, so, thank you, I, I don't even remember how you got my contact info or why you reached out to me. Um, it, was, it was Michelle, the opposing coach. She was just like, I know this great bodybuilder and reached out and DM'd him. And I was like, okay, I guess I'll do it. Yeah, it was just like, it was amazing. The universe lined up, dude. Um, yeah, no, 100%. I wouldn't have been able to, like, I was so in my head with, like, the cut and, like, the amount of, like, calories that, like, I was supposed to be eating at that point. I was like, I just need something, but it worked out, worked out amazing. I don't know, it's been amazing. Well, look, I want you to go make the most of your time at this show. Let's plan to get on a call tomorrow, and we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about next steps. Um, if you have the opportunity to go eat with your family tonight, I want you do that try to do this for me try not to binge at home tonight I, i'll be literally honest i i ate myself almost into a coma i, I woke up like nine, nine pounds heavier the next day so don't don't do that if you can uh plan tomorrow to go back on to your plan plus 150 grams of carbs from rice plus 20 grams of peanut butter um and then we'll, we'll probably push that up way higher real quick but um i mean i need to talk to you tomorrow and see like if we're going to try and touch any pro shows if we're going to do an off season but we can do all that tomorrow go be with your people today i'm so fucking proud of you dude you you did it oh I, I'm somewhat speechless for the second time today. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, just very happy. I'll, I'll enjoy myself today. Try not know. to eat too much. Yeah, I eat at the restaurant. Just try not to take a bunch of it home because I, I can know. tell you from experience. I don't know. It, it can throw you off. We'll, we'll see. And then, and then we got. We'll talk tomorrow. You just text me and we can set up a time to call. Okay. Awesome. All right. Thank okay, you, dude. Thank you. One more time, like. 
amazing. Pleasure is all mine. I, I, I wish everyone was like you. So, uh, you are changing the world too. You're you're probably one of the youngest vegan pros I've ever known. So, yeah, yeah. Let that sink in, man. You, you're doing it. You're changing the world. I appreciate you. We'll talk tomorrow, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye. It's well, what an experience in Target. Just trying to go get a board game on the way home. We got, what did we get? It was the questions game. The We're not really strangers. We got the couples edition. I wanted that one. We're going to get to know about each other. Yeah, we're going to get to know about each other, guys find out who we've slept with or what we've done in our past maybe not uh what what other game did we get we're at the car but some game that you picked here yeah it looks like fun here why don't you just show them yeah we'll show you guys maybe we'll even play it power hungry pets it kind of looks like uno she got a coke zero and it actually has stevia i didn't know that i got the diet a and w because uh, i love root beer and then not only did an athlete of mine turn pro while I'm in Target before I even left that area actually right before that these two wonderful dudes came up to me two 13 year olds like hey uh are you bodybuilding vegan it's like yeah they're like we follow you I was like prior to me walking in the store and they're like yeah and I'm just like wow this does not happen all the time. This does not happen all the time. I know that there's people, and we weren't even coming here. This was just on the way home. I never go to this. I've never been to this Target in my life. I never will be again, probably. Thank you, guys. Y'all are making this possible. I love you all. I appreciate you all. I've not been speechless hardly ever in my life in the last couple of years, but I've been speechless twice today. And when you met me. And when I met her. When I saw her face. Anyways, we're gonna go. I love you. Thank you. Send this to your mom, to your ex, to your kids, to your best friend, to everyone. But most importantly, please send this to Alex's goats. I love you guys. Have the best freaking day ever. Bodybuilding vegan out.